Scientists are keeping an eye out for lights on Proxima b, an exoplanet far out in space, with the aid of the brand new, highly effective James Webb Space Telescope. These lights could provide the last, conclusive proof that the planet is inhabited by extraterrestrial life. There are more than a quadrillion planets in just our galaxy. There is therefore a chance that a moon or planet in space could harbor life. In other words, it could be populated by advanced alien life. People have been looking for extraterrestrial life for a very long time. However, one of the biggest and closest planets to Earth that resembles it has recently been discovered. That could be the solution to all of our puzzles. They will all be resolved by the James Webb Telescope. The definition of an exoplanet is the first step in understanding Proxima b. Planets found outside of our solar system are called exoplanets. These planets are now extremely mysterious and move in an irregular manner. There was no powerful telescope available before James Webb for scientists to use to search for them. They had no choice but to use a variety of methods such as transit photometry and Doppler spectroscopy. Proxima b is one of the exoplanets that is closest to Earth. It is 4.24 light years away from Earth. Proxima Centauri, the star that is closest to our solar system, orbits Proxima b, the Sun. Scientists think Proxima b, which was discovered in 2016, is located in its Sun's habitable zone. These exoplanets and Proxima b may now be concealing alien life, simply because it is too challenging to find them. But what makes this exoplanet different from the billions of other planets? Well, artificial light is the cause. Proxima b emits rays of artificial light. The scientists were stunned by these lights. They began to think that there might be life on the planet's dark side and that this life might be technologically more advanced than our own civilization. How will they study the exoplanet that is currently so hard to find and located at a distance of light years? It is possible because of the James Webb Telescope, which I know most of you are aware of, but here is a brief introduction. The largest and most potent space telescope ever constructed. This telescope's primary advantage is its ability to see through dust clouds. On the massive mirrors with gold coatings, the telescope operates. They will be reflecting the infrared rays, creating a picture that is unimaginable to us. Proxima b will be one of the first exoplanets the JWST will target. In order for a planet to be habitable, however, it must first resemble Earth in order for life to exist there. In order to discover Proxima b's amazing features, let's compare it to Earth. 1.27 times the size of Earth is Proxima b. The distance between Proxima b and its sun is 4.6 million miles, compared to 93 million miles for our sun. Because of this, it is 5% farther from our sun. Do experts currently believe that Proxima will support life? In light of the fact that Proxima Centauri is 4,000 times fainter than the sun, Proxima b's habitable zone, according to scientists, makes it possible for water to exist on its surface they also imply the existence of terrestrial ground, such as mountains. Proxima is currently 4.24 light years away from Earth. While it might seem far away from Earth, it is practically next door in space. It marks the conclusion of an 11 day cycle lasting one day. Proxima b is tidally locked and moving synchronously. To put it simply, one side of Proxima b is always lit, while the other is completely dark. The motion is similar to how the moon appears on Earth. Now that you know, you can appreciate what a great exoplanet it is for searching for extraterrestrial life. What studies are being conducted to find out if there are aliens on Proxima b? The first is that the scientists are making a lot of effort to spot any artificial light coming from Proxima b's surface. One of them is Harvard University astronomer Avi Loeb. Loeb asserts that Proxima b's bright and dark sides can be both illuminated by artificial light using the James Webb Telescope. Researchers will compute the light curves from the planet 
and its star on the dark side. A highly intelligent civilization that had existed in the dark from the beginning wouldn't you suppose have grown accustomed to it? We know that there are many creatures on Earth that can see in complete darkness. The future? They might just be common animals found on Earth. This is the only thought that comes to mind when we think of artificial light. The bright side of Proxima b is exposed to a lot of X and UV radiation, which is another problem. The likelihood of habitability thus dramatically decreases. On the other hand, the likelihood that there might be life there grows stronger. Making discoveries is one of the main goals of the SETI organization, which looks for extraterrestrial intelligence. We are looking for signals from more than 20,000 red dwarf stars. The search uses the Allen telescope, yet another effective telescope. They now have Proxima b at the forefront of their minds, due to another plot twist in the narrative. Previous years saw the discovery of a peculiar radio signal coming from Proxima b. The Parkes Radio Telescope in Sydney, Australia, however strange it may sound, detected the signal. About 30 hours passed before the signal died. The signal was lost each time they turned the antenna away from Proxima Centauri. The reason why everyone is so obsessed with Proxima b is because of this mysterious strange signal. Why shouldn't they be, then? It is the first time that a strange, unidentified signal has been sent toward Earth. It is imperative that Proxima b be studied as an exoplanet. They will send a nanocraft to investigate it for this reason. I'm sorry, but with the technology we have now, no astronaut will ever get that far. The undertaking is known as Breakthrough Starship Project. It is a $100 million project that involves sending a craft equipped with nanotechnology to the Proxima b system. A typical nanocraft, however, would have needed a lot longer to get there. Even so, because they'd be projecting it with incredibly fast lasers, it will only move at a speed of about 20% of that of light. This would be a wholly human invention in terms of speed. So instead of thousands of years, it will now only take two centuries to get there. There are habitable planets that are similar to Earth, as evidenced by the discovery of planets like Kepler-452b, Kepler-186f, and others. Out of the quadrillions of objects in our galaxy, these are the only ones. The number of stars in our galaxy that are the same size as our Sun is estimated to be around 22% according to a 2012 study. It's possible that a planet the size of Earth orbits these suns right now, don't you think? They estimated that 200 billion planets may be habitable, just like Earth, so that's what they came to. Although there is a lot that we have to learn and explore, one thing is for certain, in space, there is always more progress to be made. Events that go above and beyond our expectations will always happen. Since Proxima b is the nearest of all the stars, it will be interesting to watch how things develop. Please remember to give our video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Click the subscribe button as well if you want to see more breathtaking space videos. What do you think about the likelihood that exoplanet Proxima b harbors life from other planets? Please post your comments in the space provided below.